Hi, it's Chris here from the EQ Mod Project. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the Alignment Points Editor in a little more detail. Uh, the first thing to do is open it up. And I'll maximise it so we haven't got any clutter. OK, as you can see, I've already added 16 points to my alignment model. By clicking on each point, uh, the associated point in the map display is highlighted with a green circle. See. Should you ever want to delete any points, perhaps because you think they're suspect or not helping, um, you can do this by simply right-clicking, hitting delete, or selecting a point and hitting this button down here. If a three-point correction transformation is, is currently being applied, then the point index numbers of those points being used are shown down here. So we're currently within a three-point triangle, and that triangle is made up of points 5, 3, and 2. So if pointing goes awry and you suspect that it's due to one of those points, you can easily find them and delete them if necessary. If the nearest if a nearest point transformation is being applied as opposed to a triangle, then that's going to be shown here and the same thing applies. Okay, the map view. Um, Hopefully everyone's now familiar with, of, of this kind of view. Um, we've got the the pole indicated by these grey circles, the meridian by a green line. Uh, all of the points and their transformed positions are shown as red circles and blue circles. If you ever need reminding what it all means, you just click on this this help button whilst you hold it down the. Um, the key, as it were, um, is displayed. Uh, if we right-click on this uh, map display, we, we, we get a totally different uh, view. Um, and this allows you to easy, easily visualize the areas of the sky uh, which are subject to a three-point correction. They're shown in, in red. Uh, whereas the nearest point corrections are shown in green. Uh, it's hard to see on this, but actually each one of these crosses is actually two crosses. There's a, a grey cross, which is the uh, proper uh, catalogue position, uh, and there's a, uh, a green or red cross, which is moved off to the side, uh, which is the transformed position. Um, the mount position. The current mount position is shown as a uh, a white circle as on the other display. Left clicking will take you back to the uh, display, the, the, the normal points display. Now having spent a fair amount of time creating the 16 point models it seems reasonable that you would want to save it so that you can use it again on a, uh, a subsequent night. Uh, you can do this provided you park the mount uh, before you shut down, and obviously un unpark it when you, you start up, and provided your mount isn't moved. In other words, you're really looking at kind of uh, a permanent or semi-permanent site for your mount. Um, EQ ASCOM provides 10 different slots where you can save your current points list or points model. This allows you to create different alignment points for different equipment configurations. Uh, it also allows you a simple way to back up or, or make a copy of a particular good alignment model. In that way you can say this model is great, it's working fine, I'm going to save that. I'm going to continue working with it and keep adding points but if it goes all wrong for some reason you can get back to the point you were before or the state you get before. To 
save the current alignment model, you simply choose a preset. So let's pick number five. Give it a more friendly name. In this case, demo. And hit the save button. Okay. Uh, I shall now clear all these points out. see they've all disappeared to sorry to load those points back up again we just pick demo from the list the load button and they all come back this is a obviously a, a manual method of loading and saving but we also provide options to automatically save and load your alignment. Checking the load alignments from preset on unpark option will ensure that whenever you unpark the currently selected preset, i.e. the one that's been selected from this drop down, will be loaded. Checking the save alignment points on park option will force EQASCOM to save the current model to the active preset, so that whichever one you've got selected in here, whenever you park. And saving alignment points to preset on append will mean every time a new point is added, this preset will get written. For those with permanently sighted mounts, uh, it makes sense to opt for the load on unpark option. Whether you want to go for the automatic save option, either of them, it, it is a matter of personal choice. Um, I prefer to only save the alignments manually when I know the model is working well. Uh, with an automatic save, there is a possibility that if you add any data accidentally, perhaps an accidental sync, or if you do a poor alignment, perhaps made on the wrong star, uh, you've identified the wrong star, um, then this will go into your model. If it's automatically saved, that could compromise uh, your model. And certainly with a, a three-point transformation, a, a point over here could well affect pointing in the sky over here, depending on what other points have been defined. So, um, personally, I, I only ever save when I'm sure that the model is working well and, and do it manually. Other people, though, use these automatic things quite happily, so it, it's really just a matter of personal choice. Okay, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, next time, I'll look at some of the more advanced aspects to the alignment models, such as the proximity control and the points filter.